Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you've watched my previous video on 27 key basic skills to use on Illustrator, which is going to come in really useful for the tutorials that I'm going to teach you today and subsequently over the next few weeks. Today I'm going to focus on chords, aglets and eyelets, which is a key component if you're drawing, say, hoodies or coach jackets or any kind of thing that has a cord on it. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a simple line. So I just click my first point and my second. And then I swap my fill so you can actually see your line. Here I go to my stroke tool and make the stroke larger. From here I click the round cap tool. This makes the edges a bit round. Okay, then select your object. And then go to objects, path and outline stroke. If you click on the little white box with the black underneath it, it makes the external line and the internal a fill. I'm going to amend the path so one end is curved in rather than out as it currently is. Just move your anchor points to the desired location and then use the handles to change the shape of your line. Now I'm going to draw a line over my object and making sure that the edges of my line go over the edges of my object. So select both your objects and from here go to the pathfinder and then click the divide button. The edges of the first line have gone. Here I'm using the eclipse tool to draw a circle and I'm going to copy and paste it. So now I'm selecting all of them and now I'm going to go to my align tool and click align horizontally and then I click my vertical distribution and it spaces them out for me. Now select your object and go to the gradient tool. And now I'm gonna select the circles and change these to a radial gradient. So if you just click linear, radial's there, and it just changes the look of it. I think this makes it look a bit more metallic. Now this component is done. Now I'm gonna show you how to draw an eyelet. So eyelets are really easy to draw. First go to your eclipse tool and then draw a circle Again, covered in my previous skills tutorial. Select your circle and go to Objects, Path, and Offset Path. That brings up a box. Click Preview so you can see what you're doing. And as you can see, this is now added a bigger circle to your original one. I want it smaller, so I'll put a minus on it. And then I just play with the scale of how big I want the internal circle. So here I'm just changing it to the perfect size. I'm gonna go with five and highlight both of them. Then go to your Pathfinder tool and then click on minus from front. This deletes the top layer from the bottom layer and basically makes a hole. Now I'm not sure about the gradient, so I'm just gonna change that from radial back to linear. And that's your eyelet component done. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you how to draw the chord. So first, draw your line. I want the line to look like it's moving, so I click and hold and drag each of your anchor points to get this effect. Again, I've clicked to swap the fill button on my left-hand toolbox, and I head over to my strokes tool. Click the round cap tool and change the weight of my line. Then select your line and go to the objects, path, and then outline stroke. Click the default fill and stroke button, and now you have an outline shape. From here, we want the chord to look a bit more like a woven chord. So draw a rectangle. Go to your swatches, ensuring the internal fill is the top of the box. I'm going to go for grey right now. From here, select your box and go to Object, Pattern, Make. This brings up a new box. This is a really useful tool and I'll show you how to use it in a more in-depth advanced video that I'm going to do later on. Click the drop-down arrow and change the tile type to brick by row and click out. Now open your swatches and you have a new fill in there. Click your object you want filling and make sure the internal is on top of your fill item. And now your fill has gone in to your cord. Now I don't like how the fill is positioned and I don't like the size. So first of all, click your rotate tool, hover over your object and hold down the tilde key. This rotates the fill but not the outside lines. If you click shift and tide, this will rotate it in 45 degree angles. So now the scale is too big, I want it smaller. So, like the Rotate tool, go to your Scale tool, hover over the object and hold down the Tilde key. Again, clicking Shift and Tilde will scale and fill the object proportionally. Unfortunately, scaling the fill also scales the external line. So 
So ensure you go back and change that before you finish. Now copy and paste your components and place them and scale them as you want them, sending certain items to the back for a more realistic look. Now you have a full cord and eyelet and aglet to use on any different garment. It can be used on coats, jackets, hoodies and sweats. And that's it. That's the first trim done. Now I know we're all really busy and if you don't have time to draw this, as I've said before, I've opened an Etsy shop where you can go and download the file with not just the cord and aglet, but also the buttons and all the other trims and details that I've used and created for this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and click that beautiful red subscribe button. And also follow me on social media like Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. If you've got any comments, leave them in the comments section below. Alright, that's it. Tra, 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 tra. Bye.